On a beautiful fall evening in Lynchburg, Virginia, the number one ranked Ratford Highlanders in the Big South Conference came to town to take on the Liberty Flames. Liberty had some opportunities in the game, but Radford, their high potency offense, was able to come through for the 3-0 victory. I thought we started well. You know, we, we strung a bunch of passes together the first five minutes, and you know, we created a couple chances, and then unfortunately we didn't clear a ball out, and, and, and it bounces off of their guy instead of going up the line, and then they pull the ball back and score a goal in transition against the run of play. So that was very disappointing, and, and then ultimately we started the second half well again, and we didn't clear a ball out where we had possession of it. We couldn't secure it. It bounces off a guy. And then, you know, Jeremy makes the save, but we don't follow up properly. Uh, so very, very disappointing because, you know, our focus was good. Our mentality was good. We started the game right in both halves. It's just that, unfortunately, we made a couple mental mistakes, which turned into goals for them, and they're very opportunistic. I mean, they're a good team. You know, our guys just showed, we, you know, we played with Coastal the other day. You know, we're, we're one mistake away from winning that game. Uh, and then tonight we start right against another top 25 team. And, and ultimately, it comes down to we're creating chances. We've got to score goals. We had 11 shots tonight. We've got to find goals. And, and, and we told our, te our team defense has been off the charts all year. We're only giving up an average of one goal a game. Ultimately, we've got to take some pressure off of him by scoring some timely goals. And right now, the ball's just not going in the net for us. We're creating chances. I mean, tonight, I thought we had three or four good looks. Ultimately, they blocked a couple shots, cleared a couple balls off the line. Uh, and, and, and that's where the difference of the game, where if you can get one of those, it puts them under a little bit of pressure. So very disappointing result because our effort was good, our energy was good. Just the execution's got to be better. Well, you can't feel sorry for yourself because you got to go to Asheville. And, and Asheville at home, beat Coastal a week ago. So so now we're going, you know, we're going into a place where they've got a tough environment. They play very well at home. And, and our guys can't feel sorry for themselves. They've got to say, okay, let's learn from this. Let's get better. Ultimately we're creating enough chances to score. We've got to find goals. And and if those start coming, we know we can play with anybody in the league. We just have not gotten any good bounces yet. But ultimately it comes down to, you know, you got to score some timely goals to take pressure off our team defense. With the loss, the Liberty Flames fall to 1-4 and four on the season, while the Ratford Highlanders move their record to 6-1 and one in conference play. For the Liberty Flames Sports Network, I'm Jamie Hall.